Howdy oh, what do you know? This is Rabbit of Scrublet Academy, and we are back in Dito. And we're gonna be continuing the monster manual today because I feel like it. So let's go and explore one of the more unexplored areas, I guess, of Dito. Uh the Lord of Eyes, which I just got flagged for earlier today, so I think we'll try it and we'll see what happens. And here we are, so we might as well just go ahead and collect that quest right there. I don't remember this quest in any regard, so if it's a little here and there, I have no clue where I'm going or what I'm doing. Let's go ahead and just sing ourselves a nice little song and head a right up. A twelve mage stands by her recently defeated foe. She may be able to help direct you where you need to go. Farrah yeah. removes the magic lock, allowing you to proceed through the door. Alrighty. So this one's interesting. We've already got beholders. We might be able to count Glowing them up. Glowing but... towers of magical rings designate where the active levitation pads are. Time to put oh. your trust in the Twelve's magical designs. Yes, I do remember this one. This one should be really, really interesting. But I think it's time to swap to Feather Falling. Okay. A little slow there. Alrighty. A little slow on the uptake, but I'm getting it. That is a Mind Flayer Mage. Let's get rid of him. Alrighty, back in my normal destiny. A lot more easy to deal with, especially the Beholders who drop negative levels all the time. You killed the nearby monsters, but this door will remain locked until you speak with Herodigus. Herodigus? Are you down there? Oh! Beholders! And a few eyeballs. They're still scary, honestly. A cowering twelve apprentice sends oh. a telepathic message from the shadows nearby. If you kill them, I'll unlock the door so you can get to Herodigus. Please hurry. Well, that's nice of you. I guess that's how we're going to do it. Unlock that door. Okay, okay, so it's open. So we've got Zarian Renders, we got some Beholders. They're still not quite as prevalent. Oh, we got Thrak Hounds. Still not quite as prevalent as they would be in Invaders, I don't think. But we'll check it out. We'll see what we've got. Uh, who's this? Another apprentice. Sure. And you got a lot of these eyeballs to deal with, too, which they do not have an entry in the Monster Manual, so they're a lot more annoying to have to get through. I just missed him, didn't I? Yep. There we go. Get rid of all these guys. And every passage seems gated, which is even slower. Yeah, because you got to kill all these elementals in this area, in fact. Five of them. I was certain that I'd hit them, but I guess it doesn't care all that much. Alrighty. We're getting closer, we're getting closer. It's a very slow one, honestly. Get in here. You're gone. Oh, do a full circle around him. You have captured enough fire elementals. Take their essence and bind them to the mage fire cannon. All right, so let's jump up there and do that binding right now, because I'm not sure that this is going to be a quest that's worth farming. But as it stands, though, I'm not particularly liking this one for farming. This one is very slow, and there's very few of the enemies we actually want in here. I did find an interesting place to farm um, illithids earlier, though, which is really neat because I didn't expect it. But Terminal Delirium, which kind of became the best quest for it, honestly, is the newest place to farm them. It's significantly better than farming them in the Underdark or anything like that, so I like it. I honestly like it. Alrighty, so we got some Earth Elementals now. Let's just go ahead and capture them up. There's four, and we need one more. And it looks like we'll have to throw another one at his dome. Yeah, there we go. So I think you actually have to hurt them a little bit. You can't just go ahead and hit them once and they'll aggro. They gotta be actually You have captured actually enough hurt. earth elementals. Take their essence and bind it to the Magefire Cannon. Excellent. We're halfway there. Halfway. If there's a nice respawning area later, this might be a consideration. That's all that I'm really hoping up for now, though. Because honestly, uh, this is not looking super promising for us. Ah, a couple more Beholders. We'll just get rid of him. Chaos Beholder. It's good if you're looking for different monster types, I guess. You can really go in this one, but even then, there's probably better areas to go. Because this one is 
quite a bit to flag in, and it's not really worth all that much. Let's go up on this side. This is either air or water. I'm not entirely sure which one it'll be. One of the two. All right, float me up, float me up. Oh, beholders. Well, that's interesting. Well, we're just going to leave him alone. He can't negative us. That's the real big thing they can do. Looks like the doors aren't quite open. we got to kill all these things. Because those cowardly 12 apprentices... I don't know why they put apprentices in charge of this. But those cowardly apprentices are not going to open doors for us willy-nilly. we got to kill everything for them. we got to do all the work for them. Unbelievable. Alrighty. Um, I don't know what's in that door, but let's go in this one. Because this will be close to our elementals. We got a frost beholder there. Nice. Is this area worth anything? It's got to be worth something. There are two portals seemingly active and one inert. Let's just head into the active ones. Alright, so this is definitely an area to get some elementals. I don't know which kind. Still nothing. If I want to capture air elementals, maybe we can walk around the room. Just do a nice, a nice 360 scope of the whole place. Look at that beautiful artwork. Oh, there they are! And we found them. Look at that. Alrighty. We'll just bring them in. That actually makes a lot of sense. Air elementals probably would be up there. Oh, jeez. Alright, he should come in. Oh! Oh, air elementals are even easier. All they need to do is just come in. Oh, well, that is very nice. Alright, let's bring some more in. Let's bring some more. And they respawn so quickly, too. Alright, come on, come on. Yeah, we got one more. And, oh, he's coming in now. Let's swap it up. We'll get ready to uh, leave this you place. You have captured enough nice. air element. I mean, if you're just looking for a fun quest, I'm not going to deny it. These uh, insane, you know, madness quests, they're super fun. No question. There's so much of a flavor to them and so much of a theme. You can really enjoy yourself in these quests. And I'm sure the lore is exquisite. Just the way that they come across, definitely. They're a lot of fun. They're really very quirky. But in terms of farming monster manual, they are not useful for that. And you can't win them all. What do we got here? Another one. Mountain Spring is definitely water elementals. Anything behind? Nope. Well, we'll just go through. Oh, this is pretty beautiful. Look at that. Now, water elementals are my bane, at least with this poor little rogue. These guys don't need all that much to come in, do they? Well, let's get rid of them. All right, he's in. He's in. He's gone. Now, we just need to get rid of two more. There we are. And I'll bring you in, too. Give us a crit. Give us a crit. Oh, we didn't need one. You have there captured enough water elementals. Take their essence oh. and bind it to the Magefire Cannon. Well, we got the essence of the waters. All right, so we've got all of our essences. This is definitely not time worthy. This is definitely not a dungeon you can farm quickly, easily, but it's still a fun dungeon. I like it. Bull turns to challenge you. Oh. See if you can prove his moniker wrong. Oh, look at that. We can take out that guy. As Indomitable indeed. Out, Opulox was all talk. Henceforth, he shall be remembered as Opulox the Dead. <laughs> How lame. That's a, that's kind of a joke that I would have made. And here we are, back at the Magefire Cannon. Can we drop them all off? The Magefire Cannon is now supercharged and ready to be fired. Alright. You gonna fire? Looks like it's gonna fire. The Lord yes. of Stone's forces pour in through the entrance that you made. Accompany them to the central portal to make your move on Belashira. Yes, this is the area where we get to actually fight Belashira with... Orlosk's little people here, too. So all of those gargoyles and stuff that I've ended up killing just getting to this quest, they're all worth it now. Oh, Beholder. Oh! Oh, well, that's cute. You'll be the first to blink. It's a staring contest between Medusa and Beholder. Oh, that's nice. Let's go upstairs. We'll start cleaning through here. here all right, here we are. the portal. Orlask's forces are eager to carry out their master's scheme. Follow them and take down the Lord of Eyes. I think that's probably a good idea. Let's do it. Alrighty. Oh, well, that's nice. Hedonism much. Aw, oh, that's unfortunate. He was looking sexy, too, wasn't he? Wasn't he? 
checkmate in 23, huh? Nice. Alright, so yeah, this is going to finally be the end of this one, but I don't know how many mobs are going to spawn here. All Let's just asks creatures amid strange auras as they charge into the Lord of Eyes. These creatures appear Oops. to be holding the Lord of Eyes' true power at bay. Their role in this battle will be vital. Best to keep them alive if you can. Probably, yeah. Is he immune? Nope. He just got a lot of DR. Probably because his minions are still up. Let's get rid of him. Let's get rid of all of them. Uh, it's trying to make me talk to them, and I don't want to. Yeah, this is super you easy. You put an end go. to whatever mad plans the Lord of Eyes had for the Hall of Plains. He has been banished back to Kaiba, where he belongs. Oh, he would have set up traps too. I guess in the old days, this fight would have been intense. But here, not really. Not with this character. Well, as we've seen, the monsters do respawn in this dungeon, but they are not worthy of being farmed. My recommendation, if you're looking for beholders or mind flayers or really any of the things that we've seen, best look someplace other than the Lord of Eyes for them. It's just they aren't very prevalent, and though they respawn, they don't respawn in great numbers. So that was it was a good one. It was a good to, it was good to figure that out. But that's all for today. If you enjoyed that, don't forget to leave a comment. It's nice to hear what you think about these things. Other than that, though, I think I'm going to get up out of here, and you guys have a great day. See you for now. Bye-bye.